The iPhone project was codenamed Purple. But the software, the software had way more interesting code names. None were ever made public though. Not like This is Jaguar, the next release of Mac OS 10. And I'll get to why in a hot minute. iPhone OS 1.0 was heavenly, not in the religious sense, but in the Lake Tahoe ski resort sense. 1.1, which firmed up a lot of the firmware, was Snowbird after the Snowbird Ski Resort in Utah. Are you getting it? 2.0 was Big Bear, which shipped alongside the App Store and where a lot of the early frameworks were given shaves and a haircut. 2.1 was Sugar Bowl and 2.2 Timberline. 3.0 was Kirkwood, 3.1 North Star, and 3.2 Wildcat. And that's the version that also shipped on the original iPad. 4.0 was Apex, not as in Predator, though it did kill iPhone OS when it was renamed iOS. 4.1 was Baker, not as in Dozen, and 4.2 released as 4.2.1 Jasper, not as in Sitwell, which finally brought unified support to the iPad. And 4.3 was Durango, but also not as in Dodge, as in Purgatory, Colorado, we're still deep in the ski resorts here. 5.0 was Telluride and 5.1 Hoodoo. 6.0 was Sundance, which might have been fitting given how photorealistic design was about to be Butch cassidy in a hail of gunshots, if not glory. Just Wikipedia it. And 6.1, Brighton. 7.0 was Innsbruck, but also the great flattening. A jolt of digital authenticity and Gaussian blur injected straight into the OpenGL stack by Johnny Ive and Alan Dye. And if you listen close enough, you can still hear the screaming in Brooklyn. 7.1 was Sochi because Winter Olympics. Both 8.0 and 8.1 were Okomo, 8.2 Stowe, and 8.4 Copper. Special shout out though to 8.4.1 Donner because its namesake, Richard, really, really did make me believe a man could fly. Rest in peace. 9.0 was Monarch, 9.1 Boulder, 9.2 Castle Rock, and 9.3 Eagle. Not as in legal. 10.0 was Whitetail. Does it come in black? 10.1 Butler, 10.2 Cory, and 10.3 Erie. 11.0 was Tigris, 0.1 Bursa, 0.2 Sinar, 0.3 Emmet, 0.4 Fatsa. Then 12.0 changed everything. The world got dark, and so Apple decided to bring a little light. Watch OS became glory, tvOS, hope. Mac OS, Liberty, and iOS, peace. And after that, things stayed weird. iOS 13 forked into iPad OS, lucky number 13, for the iPad, but also because the era of ski resorts was over. All the iOS and iPad OS 13 versions were Yukon, and like peace included B, C, D, and even Enterprise E versions. FG as well, even H for Yukon. Then iOS 14 was Azul, and now iOS 15, Sky. So why aren't any of these names public like the macOS ones? Or rather, why aren't there public marketing names in addition to these internal code names like macOS Monterey? I mean, the big cats sold themselves. Announcing macOS Jaguar was fire, especially compared to how Windows was spending their branding XP back then on XP. And it worked across the whole range of Macs that needed something to seriously set them apart from the boring OS numbers of the past. The iPhone, was and is an iPhone. It was the revolution. It didn't need no stinking software marketing names and it won't unless and until it's old enough and the system gets a transition big enough for the software to become at least a co-star.